Hello, and welcome to Brews News. Today we're going to be exploring the ways in which us Brits socialise. This is a key aspect of British culture, as we rely upon yeah. each other for entertainment and information. We'll be focusing around three main areas, these being sports, social media and shopping trips. We will also have a debut performance from the famous rapper who we all know and love, Ketty Rob. So, with no further ado, here is Hannah Mae Amory to talk about social media. Hi guys, it's Hannah Mae here and I'm here to talk about social media. Social media is one of the main ways British people communicate with each other. It allows us to instantly send and receive messages without having to wait. Why send an email and wait days to reply when you can send a message on WhatsApp and see when your friend has viewed it? According to Adweek, the top three social media sites are Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Facebook allows you to add and find friends, let them know what you're up to by posting a status and create group chats to talk to multiple people at once. On Facebook Messenger you can chat with friends, create polls and even ring group members. Now Instagram is a personal favourite of mine. It allows you to share pictures and videos, like and leave comments on other people's pictures and videos and direct message individuals or groups. I like Instagram because you get to see really cool pictures from all over the world. You can even follow famous people and see what they get up to on their daily lives. Social media is a great way for people of any age to explore their interests, whether it's for business or pleasure, and keep in touch with their friends and family. These platforms weren't always available. Here we have Mr Smith who is willing to give us his take on social media. Hello, how are you doing? So, what is your take on social media? Well, for me, Back in my day, we'd only just got phones, so social media, all this is it's wizardry, it really is. I feel like there's definitely a generational gap between the young and the old. And uh, I mean, my granddaughter tried making me Facebook the other day, and I uh, just thought I could try and keep up with my trendy and hip 60-year-old mates, but I just can't get my head around it. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to get respect from the young ones when I can't even use a laptop, let alone one of them palm tops. So overall, do you think social media is a good or bad thing? Hmm. Well, there's definitely goods and bads on both sides, but uh, I think overall, the, the positives outweigh the negatives. That would be my thoughts. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us, Mr. Smith. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Hannah May, for that comprehensive report on social media. Now, over to Jack with how sport affects our cultural socialisation. Thanks, Rob. Sport and more specifically football, is a major part in the socialising in the UK. And this was highlighted during the 2014 World Cup final, which had 12.1 million viewers in the UK alone. This match would go on to dominate conversations in the workplace, schools and casual conversations. And this is often the case after any football match. These conversations range from moaning about how bad Arsenal are, talking about amazing goals, to making football chats. And this often happens in the pub before and after the big kickoffs. Although fans are often very passionate about their teams, and this can lead to heated debates and sometimes falling out with friends. All of these different parts of sports offers different conversations, whether it's banter about someone's result of the football team, to an in-depth discussion about their opinions on certain players or upcoming games. Whatever it may be, it contributes to making new friendships by breaking the ice due to its easy nature of discussion and popular common ground that many have, and this can be through conversations or participating in actual play. The FA in 2014 estimated 8.2 million people across the UK playing football with around 15.2 million people playing sport in general and this offers constant opportunities to meet new people and make new friends. The role of sport even goes as far as affecting production at work with 47% of women and 40% of men agreeing that productivity decreases when their team loses. Thanks Jack, what a great report. Now we have the debut video of Katie Rob's newest song about stereotypes of socialisation. Hey, 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 hey. We're the boys, yo. We go to the pub. We don't talk about feelings or express our love. Our favourite things to discuss are one, two, three. That's football, films, and the size of our. We leave the pub at about 10 or 11. We ain't philosophical, talking about hell or heaven. We're men, we're lads, we're blokes. I'll insult your mum to say it's just jokes. Oh my god, we're the girls, we can't pee alone. We'll buy sparkly accessories for our new phones. Wow, I love your hair, looks so good, damn cute. Did you see Sammy's hair? Think I might puke. We pee together because we know strength comes in numbers. We have girl only parties and we call them slumbers. We can't throw or catch. Oops, I missed it. I can't believe my ears are song is so misogynistic. Don't conform to the patriarchy acting like a bitch. Us women ran London during the blitz. We're equal to men. 
Smash through the glass ceiling. If she saw what had become, Wolston Cough would be reeling. Be brave, be strong, be fierce. Fight the oppression that has gone on for years. Whoa! Chill out. We're talking about socialization, not the years where we dabbled in social discrimination. So can't you just relax? We'll find a thing we share alike. What's about the huge culture of the motorbike? Hmm, okay, but I'm not really a fan. Motorbikes are really just a world for a man, right? Fair enough, let's not go back there, but there must be at least one thing that we share. Now, here I go, I'm gonna list off British norms. Just stop me when you feel like you are on board. Is it Wimbledon having strawberries and cream, or our monarchal society in love of the Queen, eating roast dinner and moaning about the rain, or creating nasty names like Nigel and Lorraine? The second the sun appears, getting on your speedos, or maybe it's the large array of 1980s speedos having a sip up a lip when it comes to mental health or society, the top of only nearly half the world. I mean, we have the beast to Shakespeare and Big Ben, or is it the undiscovered mystery of Stonehenge, sitting on the seafront and having fish and chips, or watching Motley Python taking a piss? Come on, help me out, what do you do for fun? What about sports? Do you like to run? Ah, uh, no sorry, it hurts my knee, I've got it. We all like tea, cause in Britain what unites us is our collective love of tea We like it black with milk or even fruit tea Over here in Britain it's a staple part of our diet I'm gonna bring some to Taiwan so they can all try it So there's the truth about making mates Not weird like the Greeks, smashing plates Yes we all hate life, that much is true But how can you complain with a nice hot brew? It's a bloody tune, hey? Now finally we have a report from Alana Allen regarding another form of socialisation Shopping trips Taiwan has such strong earthquake control measures and how countries in the West could replicate them.